I can't find my ponytail, y'all. So we're gonna go back to the wiggin' wiggin'. But like, <laughs> but yeah, this is the outfit, y'all. So it's giving, giving. Okay, it's giving. It's giving what it's supposed to give, you know. The bread is over here, popping her gums. Okay. I was gonna wear these and then switch off on my flats because I do have socks on, y'all. Let me tell you something right now. Cause when you're walking, I know y'all can't see me, but when y'all when you are walking, listen, I believe I, I believe I'm leaving it. I probably wouldn't end up leaving early. Probably because I leave it says seven. I might stay the whole nine hours, but you know, I want some more of these skirts, so I might end up buying another one, because this one's cute. This one's cute. It's giving what it's supposed to give. I might take a picture, but I'm going to wear these flats. I'm going to ask my manager if I can wear these flats. If not, then I'm going to have to stick with my sneakers, because we can't wear... Anything that has like crystals because my shoes that I love, I can't wear that around corporate. And one of the ladies, she basically works for co she, I think she, yeah, she works for corporate. I can't wear that around her, so I'm gonna ask Monica if I can wear these because I did have some sparkly shoes and I want to wear them with this outfit, but you know, it's not giving what it's supposed to give so. Yeah, y'all. So. Do you sandwich, Nene? Oh, I didn't want a sandwich, Mimi. Thanks, Mimi. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Mimi. You're welcome. How are you doing? Good. You just woke up? Yes. Yeah. Why you sound like you don't want to be bothered? Uh, Where's grandma? In, in her room. Oh. Okay. Is it okay, Bo? Yeah, it's fine. Okay. About to get ready for work. I'm heading out, Mimi. All right. Okay. All right. Be careful. Okay. That's her little self. But, um, yeah, you all. Um, I. My day off is Monday, so I'm honestly trying to be good, because Monday, sleep. I work tomorrow, and then I'm off Monday, so it's giving what it's supposed to give. You understand what I'm saying? Like, you have to, because on two days ago, I was looking like a backbone with this wig on. Because I didn't wet it. I didn't give it what it was supposed to give. Now I got Jira Curl. You know? <laughs> Rick James, bitch. Who? The girl by, the girl backstage. I just want to say this. I just want to say this. The girl backstage that didn't know who I am. Everybody starts laughing. I just want her to know. I'm Rick James, bitch. Listen. When that came out on the BET Awards, you know who was so shocked? My, the whole entire family. Me, my mama, my father, Tia. Everybody was... Listen, my sister was shocked. We all was shooketh when he said that. Brandy was the most shocked. Yo, Brandy was the most shocked. But if you are not... If you was not born in the 90s, you do not... You're not going to understand what I'm talking about. That was crazy. Rest in peace. Mr. Rick James. Rest in peace. Rest in paradise. Rest in my second paradise. He, listen, he said, the girl backstage, I don't know who I am. So I say this to her, I'm with James, bitch. I said, oh, 
You just, you literally pissed off the king. That's what you did. And I, th I, honest, I honestly believe she probably was a, she probably was like not around the era. Maybe she was probably younger, but we don't know. To this day, it's 2022, and I, we still don't know, like, how young this little girl was, this, this girl was. She probably was my age, or she probably was my sister's age. If she was my sister's age, you was born in the 80s, you should know who Rick James is. Because your mom, your mom was playing with James and Tina Marie. You know? So, you in those era that your parents were looking at you like, so how you know this song? You. That's how I know the song, because of you. Okay? That's exactly how I know the song. I might end up keeping the shoes on. Because the shoes is giving what it's supposed to give. I do want to wear my flats and flats and flats just to be more professional. But my shoes is giving what it's supposed to give. So I might end up wearing my shoes all the way through, y'all. And wear these tomorrow. Because today is tax-free. So... Pray, pray for me, y'all. Pray for me, pray for me, pray for me. So, oh, you know, it's giving what it's supposed to give. So, I'm going to wear this, and I'm gonna put you guys because I charged my camcorder because this gonna be a DJ, and I want to, I want to also think I didn't film yesterday because. When you're in this type of mall, everybody, and I mean everybody, always want to be in your motherfucking business. But I am going to be sitting down because I have to do homework. When I get home, I have to do homework. I got to watch and, and do things and take some, uh, take a break. So if I got to take an hour and a half, I'm taking an hour and a half. So yeah, y'all, look at that. If I have to leave early, I think I might end up having to leave at 6. Because if I came in at 10, I'm I probably... That's nine hours. I think I might end up leaving at six. But yeah. It's giving what it's supposed to give. And I'm actually proud of myself for doing what I'm supposed to be doing. You know what I'm saying? Okay, let me get dressed because I gotta get on this bus. <laughs> I gotta get on this bus, y'all. I'm tired. I'm ready to go home. My stomach is killing me about the way 
you some pepper does and all of the So, ooh, child. I'm home dealing with this one right here. Hey. Why do you look like that? I don't know what she did. She home. I'm home. I can't say that. You did. Oh my gosh. I'm home, y'all. With dealing with this one. Stop saying good grief. This is what I gotta deal with. So today was good. I don't know how many sales I made today, but um commission we made ten thousand dollars we made our goal that's our stitch so yay um and then my manager gave me free uh cuban sicorian um gold plated earrings look at me over here knowing what 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 i have I was like, I don't even know what the goddamn name of it is. I don't. I I really don't. I'd be like, oh, that's the Lucy. Oh, that's the Millennium. That's the Millennium. Oh, that's the Constella. I don't know everything. Um, but yeah. Uh, yeah. So I'm chilling. My feet hurt. I gotta go back tomorrow. I'm in pain. I've been having chest pains, and Tori's over here cussing me. I talk about you better go home. I work tomorrow. You see the you see the bullshit. Sp speak your piece. Speak your piece. What? She need to be in the house. That's why she have these chest pains. Her feet probably been hurting her again, like been hurting her all week. She need to go soak them. I'll be home. Yeah. That's my piece. Mm -hmm. I work tomorrow alert. from 11 to 5. We got an ambler. Hold on. These old. Tori. Hold on. I got a flash flood. I don't, I don't care about no flash flood. It's a dangerous life tree. Um. I don't know you ain't at the I got, I got, um. I work from 11 to 5. I'm off Monday. And? Tuesday. And? That's it. <laughs> now I'm off Friday, too. Oh, okay, that's good, man. That's good, then. Yeah, this is what she is. I'm trying to make sure she... I'm just I'm looking out for you. And I Thank appreciate you, but I need money. It's <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate you, buddy. I need mean, I understand. Shoot. I do, too. I gotta pay bills. I gotta have the credit score go up. I have a phone bill I have to pay. <sighs> I pay. It's mainly credit cards. I have to pay $152 credit card so my credit score can boost up. Out of 300 um, It would go up to like, it would go like 5, like 530, 540. Out of 518. That's better, cause then when I get to six hundred, then I can be like, okay, I got this. And then when September hits, then I can pay it. <laughs> so, hey y'all, that's what I'm going through. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, um, that's what I'm doing. But I did, I'm doing, yeah, I'm doing good this week. I did 29 hours. Well, I did more than that. I believe I did like 30 some hours. So 29 times 16. I'm getting like three something. No. Yeah, I'm getting three something. So, next week. So, I'll pay my phone bill. And then I will give my mom if I don't. I give my mom 50 so that's 111 and then I give her another 50 the following week and I'll be shitting give her another 20 like 26 dollars 
Yeah, I'm set. I'm debt free for my mother. <laughs> I gotta be debt free from rent. <laughs> I mean, from freaking up paying my credit card bills. But yeah, I'm home, y'all. Um, I'm just gonna end it today. I am doing. If I'm doing something tomorrow, I am trying. I want to go to the movies, but Tori's gonna probably tell me to stay home. Oh, wait. I work from 11 to 5. Then I work from 1 to 8. Wednesday, Thursday, and I work 1 to 8 on Saturday. I'll hit you guys up um, probably tomorrow because I am not only going, so not tomorrow, on Monday because I'll be legit working on some stuff and sleeping and cleaning because this room needs to really get clean and mopped. So yeah. So y'all, I am not working today or tomorrow. So this is my bird, y'all. This is Roberta. Wanna say hi to the camera, Roberta? She cute little parakeet. Look at her. Hi! Look at her. Hi! Hi. Hi. You got that? You getting attention? Huh? watching westerns and that's exactly what she's doing i'm gonna close the door my brother okay so yeah i'm i'm gonna close the door for you so i want but yeah i'm not working today or tomorrow because my manager was just like <laughs> you are going to relax your body and get some rest I was like damn so that's what I'm doing right now um, I'm a little bit sore but I'm not as bad as how I was the other day so that's a plus but when you are Honestly, not only drained, but you're trying your hardest to like not want to get a gallbladder surgery, but then you want to get a gallbladder surgery because you want to help your health. That's usually what it is as, as right now. Like that's what I'm going through right now. So, so that's basically what's what's basically what's going on. Um. I am taking Tom Tom out tomorrow, so I am going to be doing something productive. It's just, it's slowly going. You guys have seen the, um, the Canby Lake trip. So, that's, that's a give. That's, that's a give. But, um, you haven't. I haven't been doing anything like productive. <laughs> I've been just chilling. 
So I should be eating fucking food, but mm, I'm exhausted. I, I'm, I'm exhausted. So I want to be able to get things done. Like I'm trying my hardest to focus on the ins and outs of my life. I do have to plan different type of things. Like I have so much planned out that it's given something that I need to it needs to give. Okay, but I will say that um, my body has been shutting down, shutting on, shutting down, shutting on, shutting down, shutting on, like a motherfucking switch. Like I don't know. I just be feeling like. I'm drained, but I'm actually confident. I love where I I love working at this job. I never felt good in a long time of working in the retail job. Yes, I was talking about like how I don't feel how I used to be, where I don't I, f I don't feel um, content in working a nine to five. I still am trying to pursue my dreams, but. Being at my job, being at Sawaski, that's where I work, um, it's good. It's a good job. I love it. It's my first time ever doing jewelry, like selling jewelry. I usually sell clothes, with, but then we, we also had jewelry too. Like February 21, we had jewelry. New York and Company, we had jewelry. And then Ann Taylor, we had jewelry. But we didn't have that much jewelry in Ann Taylor. New York and Company, we had a lot of like we had like a lot of watches we had a lot of like earrings like that so i used to sell that a lot of people will come in um it's like from bermuda from bermuda from india and a lot of like asians they will come in and buy because sometimes they're either selling or they're doing it for gifts and they will set them out a lot of like indians love the watches at new york and company they will get like a whole bunch of watches and send them back to the country for like gifts um I don't sell all that. Yeah. So I have experience of like selling jewelry because you have like February 21 we had a whole bunch of freaking jewelry. Everybody knows that. So I saw I saw, yeah, I saw the play bench, but um being in a store full of just jewelry. I have been doing really good when it comes to selling. I don't I don't I don't really care about getting and making a sale like how everybody's so constantly like fully I know one of my friends she worked in um, Victoria's Secrets, and Victoria's Secrets was a commission job. And she was so adamant about making sales. Like, if we came in, we had to make sure we say her name when we came in to help her so she could get the commission. Knowing that sometimes she's not, sometimes she wasn't even like helping us. We just had to say, oh, dang. I'm like, and then to me, I felt like it wasn't, if I got help from a f female that was at the job, at Victoria's Secrets, I'm saying her name. I used to tell my friend, like, if I'm getting helped by one of your co-workers, I'm saying her name. Like, I'm not about to just, like, because, you know, they write it down for commission, like, oh, okay, so, such, like, let's say, like, Rebecca helped you out. You go up to the front desk, and you know how Victoria's Secrets, they will always say, like, oh, who helps you out? And you're like, oh, um, such and such help me out. They will write the name down, or they will write it inside their system, like, oh, Rebecca helped this customer out and has your the, the customer's um, number and then um, they would get the commission at the end of the time but my friend would make so much money she would make almost I remember she told me she made almost close to like 1200 on Black Friday because mainly all her peoples came and, and said oh thing helped her thing helped her thing helped her and then you know she got a lot of commission for that but I don't know. I if I'm helping you, I'm helping you. If I help you and you don't want it, if I'm helping you, if you don't and you don't want the item, I'm not about to be like, oh my god, I just lost some money. I get a paycheck every single week, so I'm not really, I'm not really dealing with that shit. Like, I don't even know how commission works. So maybe if I was actually no, because Tavi has worked in a commission job. She worked in Victoria's Secrets before, so she kind of got a sense of commission, I believe. I gotta ask her. Cause she was there for two years, I believe. Yeah, she was there for two years, and she left. So because of her health. So like, yeah. So she. So 
Tatav is going to be working with me. I'm so excited to be working with Tavi again. I work with Tavi at um Ann Taylor. I work with all my friends. So all the people that you guys have seen, if you guys have watched my vlogs and watch kept up with my channel and basically like watch my home entire channel, you guys have seen Andy, you guys have seen Janelle, you guys have seen Esther, I you guys have seen Evenson. Um you guys will be seeing my girl Kendra soon, my girl Damar. Shay, I went to school with. I went to. I was in school with Shay from ninth grade, all the way to until I left. But we just be we've been friends for thirteen years now. Yeah, even though we um fell out, we've been friends for yeah. Fourteen years now. It'll be fourteen years in September. I mean, sorry. No, it'll be 14 years. It was 14. It's been 14 years. It's been 14 years since me and Shay been friends. I know my girl, Timey, me and her been friends since fourth grade. So, um, my girl, Mimi. But, um, yesterday was my girl's, my girl, Remyana's birthday. I known her since, oh, Remyana, you guys have seen, um, for Shay's birthday vlog. I knew her since middle school. I knew her since, um, sixth grade. So like, I have other friendships that I that has lasted with me for years. For basically, yeah, six, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. We've been friends. We've been friends for sixteen years, me and Ramiana. So, um, but yeah, um, being able to just. Yeah, you guys have seen people, but I have worked with a lot of people that I'm close with. Um, me, Andy, and Janelle met at Forever 21. We worked in Forever 21 and Esther. Um, even said me and him worked in New York and Company. And that's how we became good friends. Um, me and Tavi, we've been friends because of Andy. Um, and we've been friends ever since, since 2015. So we've been friends for seven years. Even though I feel like we've been friends for longer than that. But you know. Um, yeah. And then I got. And I also like. Got Tavi the job at Aunt Taylor. Because I was like I don't want to be alone. And Tav Tav came. And she worked. And then I, I got her on um, a job. She doesn't know that. She doesn't know that she she's getting hired on the spot. So when you guys watch this. she already She's already working. Like She's already working with me. Um, but. She's getting high on her on the spot. So it's basically like a birthday present to her. So I'm taking her out um, tomorrow. I don't know how this is gonna work out. I want to go to downtown because I want to do some some um, some get some filming shots out um, with my Canon because I want to do some shots. I still I want to get a drone. That's the one thing I want. It's a motherfucking drone. I have a I have like an amateur drone that I have not used. I don't know where that shit. Where is my freaking drone? Oh no, it's probably underneath. I have to find my my. I have an amateur drone. Um, let you guys the store that's like for twenty something dollars. <laughs> but yeah, y'all. Um, I'm gonna try my hardest to just put more content. That's why I haven't been like vlogging. And like I've been vlogging, I've just been deleting vlogs because it's not giving what it's supposed to give. I don't want a boring ass vlog, so I just been deleting some videos and then making things fresh. So I'm not gonna be doing the whole. Actually, I am going to continue to do the dates of like when this was filmed and all stuff like that, so y'all can know. Um, but yeah, I have to work on this event that I wanted uh, that I'm doing. For in December I also am trying to not only get my business together but be able to focus on that because that's really important my health and also um my birthday I don't know what the fuck I'm doing because on October 14th it's it hit the 90 it hits the 90 days into and so I could be able to ask for a vacation so I was like I might my birthday's on Sunday October 16th on a Sunday I might as well just either go to I want to go to, I want to go to um, Disney World and this I found some cheap tickets and I was like I'm gonna go to Disney World 
for my fucking birthday. And then Tori was just like, you want to go, let's, let's go to Las Vegas. And I'm like, I don't want to because I want to because I found the seafood place that I'm just going to show up. But we're going to um, Las Vegas in April for Shay's birthday. So from the 13th to the 17th. Yeah, I already reserved the hotel room. So yeah, it's given. Um, yeah, y'all. So a lot of things is going to be showing up. Like there's other things that's going to be happening where I'm going to showcase everything. Because like I said, this is for my kids. So they can watch it and they can be in their feelings like, Ma, what are you doing? You know? I've been a filmmaker. I've been I've been filming. I've been a filmmaker since I was a child, you know. Well, let me go eat this fucking food. Hold on, real. So, Tommy's here. Hi. Hi. So I basically went through hell. <laughs> so there's commuter rails in Boston now. If you're from Boston, so I'm trying my hardest to. I went to the dentist. Whole bunch of shit. I gotta talk to you guys when I get home because it's a whole bunch of shit. But I'm with Tata. He's eating the hotel that I got her for her birthday. I love it. And then I got her some. And then also, I know you guys seen Tori's canvases, but Tommy ended up getting them. I hijacked them. <laughs> I sold them all. She I got her pinky canvases so she could finally have Tori's. Tori needs to hurry up and make like an art gallery or something. Seriously. But she got all of these. You guys have seen this on the wall. Like I said, Tari just fully just took him in. And also she is starting a job. She's in my job. Yeah. Cause, we, Cause we finally have to make money. Yeah. And well, we're not gonna be there for long, just FYI. But we're just here to pay bills. <laughs> and to at least get like a, a, a reset, a restart, a jump start into our careers. So that's what we're doing right now. But I can't eat for two hours, so I'm waiting until like three o'clock. So we're just sitting here chilling until we have to go to the Cheesecake Factory to eat some food. So I will hit you guys up when we are downstairs eating some food. We're both hungry. Yes. Mind you, she got her wizard teeth pulled. I got to do a whole bunch of shit. I'm gonna explain to you guys when I get home. It's too much. And it's too much people. Hey guys, so. I did vlog when I was with Tom, but um, the dentist was good. It's just I have to go back to get my tooth extracted. I have to not go back to there, but I have to find a place to get my tooth extracted. So that's what I got to do. Um, so I just made a call sheet appointment to be able to do that. Oh, Gomez on Tate just posted another vlog. So I got a ordered a dress from Amazon to work. So I'm gonna try it on to see if it fits. Or it looks presentable and looks nice. I don't wear flats. I'm gonna try to wear these flats I got from Amazon. <laughs> There's a the black. So it's, it's not tight, it's just my arms are just tight. It's nice. That dries up a little bit. My booty is sitting. It's just, I don't want it to rise up. Looking like the damn, I don't want it to be right here. Hell no. I want it. To stay, you see. I want it to stay like that. You know those dresses that you don't want to bother. That's how I feel. I don't want this dress, so I can bother it. So I actually like it. I give it like a eight out of ten. It's sucking <laughs> my stomach out. Look at it. Sucking my stomach out. Sucking my stomach in. So it's all right. Just giving. It's not rising how I'm supposed to, so it's still keeping the same because I walk around the store. So, this is cute. So, yeah. 
let's get back into our outfit let's get back into my my nightshirt so it's all right now on amazon i will link in the description box below if you guys want to try it out make sure you just get a, a neck size up because it does tighten up on the arms but other than that is it's really nice it's like a soft material under so just need some clothes for work that's what I need some black clothes for work so yeah I'm about to really clean up this room because this room is looking a hot mess and just straighten up a little bit and I will hit you guys up later when you fall asleep when you, you woke up at 8 o'clock fell asleep like got ready to do most of your homework fell right to sleep because the fucking air conditioning being on you put this on with your freaking rug rack sweatpants and knock the fuck out <laughs> and now you about to go out with your niece for her to take a walk cause she needs to take a walk my niece does not go outside like that I'm taking her a walk I'm taking her up the street to Burger King so we can get some food so and get some Burger King and then come back down so, you might just wear the same thing I wore when I was with my mother. This is a nice outfit. Because I did not take pictures in this. Right. So, Mia is taking a shower. I'm about to like wash up a little bit and do what I have to do. We're coming back up. We're coming back up the street, so I really don't need to be putting on cold clothes. But I want her to go out. Where's my ponytail? On? My ponytail is a nice, cute little bun, but we do what we do. You know what I'm saying? Anyway. <laughs> um. But yeah, so. It's crazy because, like, you're trying your hardest to do what you want to do, but it ain't given. So, I am going to come back home and do some homework. It's just, cha. I legit knocked out. I woke up at 8. I was like, all right, bet I'm about to work on some stuff. I did go on this website because I have, like, an idea that I want to do with my final. I am going to talk through it, but then, yeah, I am going to talk through it because, I don't know. I'm trying to practice my communication skills. So, for my last class, because in my last class, we did practice talking. So, it was given. And I want to do it again. So, um, but yeah, I want my niece to enjoy herself. Because she's 13 years old, and with my brand the brand new productions I can be able to take her out even more my I have said this multiple times but my youngest niece to me didn't have the life that my oldest niece had with her mom um but there's pictures of Mimi with her mom that will be posted like right here and then it's like that like there's pictures but we didn't like do everything that we did with Tamia because she was 19 months when my sister passed away so when it came to Bria, Bria had it all. Like Bria legit lived with her mom. She spent time with her mother. She did every single thing that she did before Tia, you know, got out from her apartment. And then my, uh, my mom ended up taking custody of her grandchild. And Tia was, you know, doing her own thing. And then Tia came back. But other than that, like when Mia was born, Mia really didn't get that type of like full on Thing that we did for her when her mom was alive so I'm trying to do so much stuff for Tamia like take her to the science museum take her to the aquarium take her to Disney World I'm also trying to take Bridge to Disney World as well because they both have not been to Disney World which is crazy because when Tia was alive Bria went to apple picking Bria went Bria had big old Christmases Bria she got to live that you know she got to experience that and, you know, I made that promise to my sister that I will do what is needed to do for my niece, for my nieces, especially my oldest niece at the time, 
um because she was she was struggling bad so when it comes to Tamia, I want her to be able to just still enjoy. She's such an introvert. She's an introvert Aries. She stays to herself. That's how it is. So it's not that really. That's not. It's not really a big deal with her. She likes to stay in the house. But I will want her to still explore the world. You get what I'm saying? Like, cause she's artistic. She, if she gets older, she will want to go out and do things. And I don't want her to get into the riffraff and she don't know where to go. You understand what I'm saying? So. I am that aunt that wants to, and there's so much shit for their, for their nieces. Um, I also have to spend time with my biological nieces, and my biological niece and my biological nephew. I just don't know where my sister lives, so when it comes down to Chloe's, my niece Chloe's birthday, then we could do some things. And my niece Chloe is when you guys saw, I don't know if you, if you have watched my 2020 recap, this is Chloe right here. This is my niece, um, and then my nephew. So, I have, you know, but hold on real quick. So, here y'all, let me get dressed, and I'm gonna hit you guys back up when we get to, when we walk up to, right. Come on, me. So, yeah. Just me and Mia. Just me and Mia. So yeah. Mia, what are you getting from Burger King? Uh, fries and chicken nuggets will be good. That's it? Yeah. Fries and chicken nuggets. Here we go. I'm so glad I'm not working today. I look both ways. Come on, Mimi. All right. Walk up here. There's no one at the park. Stop park, y'all. There's no one at the park, Mimi. Hey, yeah. But y'all, yeah, I'm gonna hit you guys up. We got our food. We're heading back down. Let me say something right now. It's hot. It's fucking hot. I'm happy that I'm off for today and tomorrow because child, I'm hot. Gotta keep walking up, Mia. Come on. Mia, you tired? Mia. Yeah? We're well, almost there, okay? Okay. walk slow but we're gonna also gonna take a break <laughs> all right this is our break spot take a breather take a breather yep take a breather Mimi Mimi, let's go. Okay. Let's go. Let us first. Oh, look, Jesus. Walk up these damn stairs. I'm tired. I couldn't do this with Bria. When Bria was going trick or treating, Join up these damn stairs. Huh. But yeah, I hit you guys up later. So we back. It was hot. <laughs> and then like also I didn't want to be like my phone was dying. So Mia's eating downstairs. 
she got her little chicken nuggets and her fries or whatever. Then we went to CVS so she can get her juice because I'm trying to save money. I'm getting paid tomorrow. I'm trying to have a little bit of money change <laughs> before I do anything. So, um, but yeah. And also, like, I don't really take her out that much, like going up the street like that because she can't breathe. She has bad asthma. And then these masks don't really do do his justice, y'all. So, like, I want to make sure that she's good. So, yeah. Um, try and do what I need to do. But, um, I'm about to eat this food. And I'm about to lay down. I'm about to work on this homework because <laughs> it's due Sunday. I'm off Sunday. But still, it's due Sunday. I don't want to be working on that shit on Sunday. I want to be hitting submit on Sunday. You understand what I'm saying? So, let me eat real quick and I'll hit you guys up later. Just want wanted to end this vlog to create a new vlog it's because this vlog is getting too long. But um, I hope you guys definitely enjoy. I'm going to wear the same outfit, but I'm gonna start a new vlog because the other vlog wasn't giving, giving, and I'm trying my hope and hoping and praying that this vlog right here will give, give. You understand what I'm saying? So yeah. I'm going to end it here. I'll let you, I will talk to you guys in the next vlog that is going to be after this. And I love you guys so much. Thank you guys for supporting me. And I will see you guys in the next vlog. And peace out.